Industry Insider coming to you from Alfred and Constance, where actually it is Monday and Nat Dunn is joining me. It is the day before Big Sound starts, music and designs tomorrow, but I'm so excited about Big Sound and I'm pretty sure you are too, Nat, that I thought, what the hell, let's start doing interviews early. Why not? Gives you guys more time to go out and have fun, yeah? Yeah. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for coming down. You're the first interview for Big Sound Week. Very good. For 2013. I feel special. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a beautiful day outside. It looks like it's going to be a great week. It's going to be a cracking week. What are you looking forward to at Big Sound? Um, well, it's my first Big Sound. I've yep. not been in town ever when it's been on, so I've not, because um, I'm from Brisbane, but I've never been here when it's been on, so I don't know what to expect, but everyone's yeah. sort of telling me it's going to be great. So. Yeah. Have you, have you sort of had a look at what you might want to do apart from your own showcases and stuff? I plan on doing that today. I'm going to yeah. do a big sort of, yeah. Sort of have a look at the app is great have a look at that it's really I got good told on the yesterday yeah. that's ready to go so yeah, yeah i will i'll jump on that yeah really good <laughs> now uh now you've come down because you're playing uh you've got two shows this week yes uh which is on uh both on thursday both on thursday night yeah, yeah. uh we'll talk about a little bit about those soon but let's have a chat about your ep came out in may mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, how's that doing at the moment? You got you said Trigger was the first single, and yes. then um, Fool's Fate is, is the second, second one. one that's coming out. Yeah. Um, I think at the uh, October. It's coming okay. out. I, I'm not sure of the date. Okay. I should probably should, but I don't know. That's right. That's why we send people to your Facebook <laughs> so they can go and check that stuff out. Perfect. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Nat. Um, I'm from Brisbane. Yep. I um, uh, write songs. I sing. Yep. I um, Travel around. I um, yeah, that's me. Obviously, a lot of touring. If you're never in town for Big Sound, by the sound of it. Well, yeah, I've always been away doing shows, but um, this is this year's my first kind of solo release. Yeah. I've featured on other people's stuff over the years. You did your Earth Boy. Yeah, yeah a couple of years ago. Yeah. yeah. And um, so this is kind of just, I guess, the year that I've had my own thing out, which is nice. Yeah. And um, I'm just kind of yeah, enjoying traveling around. I'm going on tour. Um, for the next October and November, I'm supporting Busby Maru on a national tour, so that'll be yeah. Well, we've impressive. heard I've heard great <laughs> things about that record. Everyone's saying it's uh, it's going to be a really big record for Busby Maru. So it's really, really good. Great tour to be on the back of. So good. Yeah. I love them so much. What what made you um decide to finally go solo and just really do do something independently? I'd I'd never I I don't know why I hadn't done it. I had a few friends that were just kind of pushing me to. Um, just do it and just have the songs exist. I put a lot of pressure on myself, I think. Mm. And I think a lot of writers and artists do that. Um, and I don't know what the fear was, but um, I'm just happy that they exist, yeah. that the songs actually exist now. And I wrote it with, I wrote most of the songs with a friend of mine, Pip Norman down in Melbourne. Yeah. And we recorded it to tape. We tracked it to tape down, down in Melbourne with the putbacks yeah. playing and um, yeah, it's it, it's just fun and raw, and um, I'm really happy with it just yeah. being finished. <laughs> now, what, what are the is it? How much material have you written? There's obviously the EP, but is there more material than the EP sitting there waiting to go? Mm, yeah, I've been writing a lot more lately, and I've been in LA twice this year um, so far, and I'm going back again at the end of yeah. this year, I think. And I was over there, kind of doing writing with various people and and producers, and um, it's kind of just got some momentum now. I just feel quite creative yeah. and ready to, to maybe pop out another EP yeah. sort of early next year already just because I've got fresh material and I'm feeling feeling um feeling the momentum of being sort of in that creative headspace. Yeah, it's hard, you know, when you when you grab it you've got to stay with it. Don't yeah. you? It doesn't matter how long it is Absolutely. or just keep going. So. Yeah, so um while I was over there I wrote with um, Chris Cheney from The Living End. Yep. And, and so maybe that track might go on there, I'm not sure. But, um, and then when I was down in Melbourne recently and I wrote with um, Luke from King Cannons, who yep. I love, band that I love. So it's still encompassing that sort of rock and soul vibe mm. that, that I like. I love yeah. soul music, I love rock music. So it's kind of this 70s rock, soul hybrid. Well, style. you know, the world needs more of that. I let's, think so. let's be honest, let's be honest. It's really interesting with the writing thing. Um, you, a lot of people I speak to that go out and, and do a lot of writing, um, they really search out different people from different genres. Do you find that that helps? Does yeah. that sort of open up the creative totally. flow? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love the, um, the combination of, of extremes and um, just writing with people that I guess you'd never normally put, I guess, a soul pop writer with. Yeah because I don't play an instrument and I'm kind of disabled in that way as a, yeah. as a writer. I love, um, I love the chemistry of two people collaborating yeah. and if they're coming from two different genres that you would never really, I guess, 
all over across genres are just massive at the moment. But um, I, I don't know. I, I like the chemistry of two people collaborating that maybe you wouldn't expect or you wouldn't really think about putting together. Yeah. I like I like that. Okay. All right. Now let's uh, your, your showcases this week. You've got two, and they're back to back on a Thursday night. For anyone wanting to go see them, where are mm -hmm. they? Uh, one's Channel V stage, I think. One, you mentioned yeah. That. My my set is with my band, which will be really fun. Um, uh, that's on the Channel V stage at 10.30 on Thursday yeah. and then I'll run that night straight away at 11.20 I'm on with Good Oak yeah. around the corner um, at Mustang Bar. Okay. Oh, it's not called that anymore. Gosh, it's on there. Is I'm with Good Oak at 11.20. Like, uh, Mustang, what's Bakery it called Lane, now? Maybe like, or, oh yeah. I'm, is it? Anyway, get on the Big Sound app because yes. you'll be able to find it there <laughs> and, and, go to, and go to Nat's Facebook yeah. and Good Oak's Facebook. So you'll see yeah. it there. Tell us a bit more about your band. Um, well, it's uh, keys, drum, yeah. bass, um, two guitars. And they're just amazing musicians and friends. Mm -hmm. They're they're wonderful, and they're from they're, they're from Brisbane. Um, Dan is is playing guitar, and he's someone that produced a couple of the songs on the EP as well. Mm -hmm. He's amazing, and there's Tim Sladen, and there's um, Darren Muller, and um, Chris Sheehy, and um, yeah, just lots of amazing cats that are in. AJ Hall, who's in Good Oak as well as as in in my band for this week. It's, yeah. it'll be great. Fantastic. Yeah. And what can we look forward to? Like, uh, up post Big Sound, I mean, the, uh, obviously Big Sound's um, is going to. Well, it's going to sound silly, but it's going to be a big week for everybody because yeah. of um, the the industry talent that's coming here to, to view artists and, and and do the keynote speaking sessions and so forth. What happens after this? You're, you're going on tour, right? I'll do a little tour with Good Oak yeah. at the end of September, and when we're going to sort of Toowoomba and um, Gold Coast and Sydney, um, then we're doing a little support with the Cat Empire mm -hmm. up the Queensland coast. Yep. And then I go on tour for two months with Busby Maroo, the yep. national tour. Wow, so you got a big summer ahead. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be a good one. Great, be busy. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Well, if you guys want to, uh, if you want to see Nat, Channel V stage, 10.30 on uh, Thursday night here at Big Sound. And you can also uh, catch, catch you with Good Oak as well on the same At 11.20. Yeah, yeah, at 11.20. Straight so after. Check them out. And you can also, uh, we'll, we'll put the Facebook down below there on the screen. So you can go check out Nat on Facebook. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good luck for the summer. And um, perhaps let's catch up during one of the tours or maybe towards the end of summer and see how you're doing. Perfect. And everything's available on iTunes as well. So make sure you go check out Nat's music on iTunes too. Thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Nat Dunn here from Big Sound 2013, our first interviewer. It's uh, It's... This is a great, great start and it's only going to get better. So uh, thanks for joining us, Nat. Thank you.